Good morning, fifth grade actors. Welcome to drama. In drama, we use our body, we use our voice, and we use our imagination to tell the story. Um, let's do a little warm up. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Big breath in. And exhale, five, four, three, two, one. And take one arm, reach it up, and all the way over, stretch to the wall. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And come back up. Take the other arm, stretch it over to the other wall. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Feel all the stretching in your ribs and your intercostals. And one more big breath in. And lace your fingers behind your neck and don't pull it, but just gently relax your neck forward. Exhale out. Inhale. And relax it down. And take one arm up and over. And don't pull it, but just gently stretch your neck out to the side. And come back up. And take the other side. Stretch it out. And come back up. And roll your neck to the right. One. Two. Three. And the other way. One two, three, and bring it up, shoulders back, and shoulders forward, and you've probably been doing a lot of typing, so let's roll out those wrists, and the other way, and take your fingers and gently pull them back, and one, two, just gently, this is just to stretch all the tendons in your lower arm, but don't pull it. We don't want to injure ourselves. Just gently stretch it. One, two, three, four, five. Good. All right, good morning. So, obviously, we've been working on Moana, and that's going to be, the actual show is going to be postponed until next year, but luckily, it'll still be at Mayfield, so that will be fine. Um, but we're going to continue to really delve into the storytelling and the oral traditions in Moana. So you know about this because remember back, back, way back when you were in third grade and you did the third grade play. And that was all about the storytelling tradition of that culture, those cultures coming together and talking about their mythology. And everybody sat in a circle around the fire and that set the mood for telling the story. So lots of other cultures have similar oral traditions of telling their the stories of their culture. And who is the character in Moana that tells the story of their culture? Grandma Tala. And she tells the little kids when they're sitting all around. And she doesn't use a video or a book. She uses the tapestries that are on the wall to help tell the story. And even Maui talks about how he has the tapestries on his skin, his tattoos, that tell the story of his life. So in lots of cultures, you'll notice that the stories are passed down generation to generation by storytelling. So I've attached an article below this video that I'd like you to read that talks about storytelling in different cultures. Um, but today, your assignment is to think of a story that has been passed down in your culture or maybe in your family. There are a lot of stories about um, characters in our culture like Santa Claus. Maybe you've heard stories about him. Um, leprechauns. Maybe you've heard stories about them. There's a story that is passed down in my family about my Grandpa Joe. He passed away before I was born. But my dad used to love to tell me stories about him because he was an artist. So I'm going to tell you one of them. Grandpa Joe used to draw on everything. If he went to a restaurant, he would doodle all over the napkin. If he was sitting in class, he would doodle all over his work. And when he finally got old enough to be married and have his own home, he painted all over the walls 
every wall and there was this one wall in their living room that was just a big blank white canvas and that was his favorite place to draw trees and houses and characters and every year on Christmas my grandma Pat would whitewash the wall paint it all white so that he would have a clean slate for the next year to paint on. Well, that's the way that my dad tells the story. But when I asked my grandma Pat about it, she had a different take on it. She didn't whitewash the wall every year to give him a blank canvas. She whitewashed it because she did not like how he drew on everything. And for one day of the year, Christmas Day, she could have her beautiful, pristine, white wall. Isn't that a funny story? So what I would like you to do this week is ask your family about a story that's passed down in maybe your family or in your culture and tell it back to me. You could tell it as a video like how I just told you my story or you could do it as a pantomime. You could do it as a picture, a drawing, or even a tapestry but probably don't get a tattoo. All right. If you have any other questions, email me, and of course, I will see you live in class on Thursday.